Virinda Singh set out in search of a man whose name hasn't been spoken in more than a century. His great-grand-uncle, Tarkor Singh, killed in action during the First World War. All I could ever want is for his name to be remembered. That would make me happy. Our forefathers made such sacrifices. They deserve the recognition. They deserve the awareness. They deserve to be remembered. And Virinda's great-grand-uncle should be remembered here the Basra War Memorial in modern-day Iraq. It's a towering tribute to the ultimate sacrifice, commemorating nearly 41,000 soldiers who fought in the Mesopotamian campaign. The majority were Indian, but most don't have their individual name inscribed on this memorial, just a list of their regiments. He's not remembered. In a sense, he was just erased. You can't call it remembered if, on a plaque, you're collectively named as one of 248 others. I sent a few emails, asked a few people, and they said, no, that, that is it, that is, that is the plaque. Viceroy commissioned officers were named. Indian Army, but with British officers. Anyone with a lower rank is not remembered. You're just a statistic, a number on a plaque, which means nothing to anybody. It may as well be 15 horses dead. There's no dignity in that. There's no dignity in this. But why were so many Commonwealth soldiers asked to give their lives and then not remembered in death? The answer, according to a new report, was a culture of pervasive racism. Along, the Commonwealth War Graves Commission is now working to put right. We are very sorry that the omissions that happened 100 years ago happened. They shouldn't have happened. Those people died for all of us, for all of our freedoms, and they mattered. So it's really important to all of us in the Commission today that we put that right, and that we'll be working with communities affected, we'll be working in countries, we'll be telling those stories, we'll be finding out about those people, and we'll be making sure that they are properly commemorated as they always should have been. A task more urgent than ever to Verinda, who feels the impacts of the past on his present day life. And one in six Allied soldiers were Indian. That's a huge, huge sacrifice. And, and on top of that, there were volunteers. So for people to acknowledge that and to understand that would, would make me happy. It would mean that I wouldn't have to explain myself to people sometimes, or explain, for instance, why I'm here, or how we got here, or you know, why we're not going home. You know, but it's, it's true. These are the things that affect us in a daily life. The only way we're going to move forward as people, as a community, as British, as Westerners, whatever you want to call it, is if we're on the same, same level, the same wavelength, the same page, we understand each other. We can't understand each other if the truth isn't told. The truth remains that too many are still lost to the sands of time. A memorial's meant to treat all soldiers equally, regardless of their rank and regardless of their race. Ajay Singh, ITV News.